क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोस फ्रॉम ईकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ टू कन्वर्ट डेसिमल नंबर्स इनटू द बाइनरी नंबर्स इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव सीन द बाइनरी टू डेसिमल कन्वर्जन बट राइट नाउ वी विल सी डेसिमल टू बाइनरी कन्वर्जन दैट इज कन्वर्जन ऑफ बेस 10 नंबर इनटू द बेस 2 नंबर सो लेट्स सी हाउ बेस 10 नंबर इज गेट कन्वर्टेड इनटू द बेस 2 नंबर Now let's see decimal to binary conversion. So there are various methods to convert a decimal number into the binary number. But the most easiest method to convert a decimal number to binary number is double double method. So what do you mean by double double method? Now let's see the double double method. Double double method converts base 10 number into the base 2 number. Before going to double double method, let's see what is mean by MSB and what is mean by LSB. MSB and LSB plays a very important role in conversion. So before going into any type of conversion, we first have to understand what is mean by MSB and what is mean by LSB. MSB means most significant bit. And LSB means least significant bit. Now let's take an one example here. 1001. So in this, how you will identify what is MSB and what is LSB? Let's see. The least significant bit. The least significant bit will always start from right hand side and will always have lowest weightage. What do you mean by lowest weightage? Just refer our previous videos to have the weightage values. So the rightmost value of binary number is the LSP of that particular number. So here is one is the LSP. Now let's see the MSB. MSB is the most significant bit. So here the leftmost value that is 1. So 1 is denoted as MSB. And MSB is opposite of LSB in terms of weightage. So LSB have very lowest weightage and MSB have very highest weightage. Now let's see the weightage value of this. We have seen the number 1001. As I said, 1 is the LSB. And this one is MSB. So this one will have lowest weightage. That means 1 into 2 raised to 0. 1 into 2 raised to 1 for this. 1 into 2 raised to 2. And 1 into 2 raised to 3. So if you give the weightage values. Then from the weightage value also you can identify the MSB number and the LSB number. So here the weightage of 2, that is weightage of this number, that is the power of 2 is very less, that is 0. Therefore, 1 is LSB. And here the weightage of this number, that is the leftmost number. And the power of 2 is higher, that is 3. Therefore, this is MSB. So before understanding or before going into any conversion, having LSB and MSB plays a very important role. And in double double method, first you have to write down the MSB and then go towards the LSB. Now let's see the actual double double method. Now let's see the double double method. In double double method to convert the given decimal number into the binary number we have to divide the given number by 2 till we get the quotient value as a 1. Now let's take an example and see this method in detail. We have taken an example of 29. We have to convert the 29 decimal number into the binary number. What we have to do? We just have to divide the number until we get the quotient 
as 1. If we divide the 29 by 2, here we will get the quotient as 14 and the remainder as 1. So again you have to divide the quotient by 2 till you get the quotient value 1. Then again 14 divided by 2. Then 14 divided by 2. Again you will get the quotient as 7 and the remainder as 0. Because 2 7s are 14. Now we have the quotient value as 7. Again we have to divide the 7 by 2. Then what will be the remainder? The remainder value will be the 1. Again Till now, we haven't got the quotient value as 1. Right now, the quotient value is 3. Therefore, we will divide the quotient 3 again by 2. So, 3 divided by 2 will give the remainder as 1. Now, just focus here. Here, we have got the quotient value as 1. What I have just told you, we have to divide the given number by 2 till we get the quotient value as 1. Right now we have got the quotient value as 1. So the last quotient value that is 1 will always be the MSB. Focus on this topic. The last value of the quotient 1 will always be the MSB. Just right now I have told you what is MSB. MSB is the most significant bit. That is the most leftmost value. So while writing the decimal number into the binary number, you will start writing from MSV that is from here so the remainder will be 1 so you will start writing from down from down to up approach okay so what will be the binary conversion that is 1 1 1 0 1 so this is your final binary number that is base 2 now you can also verify your answer in exam I will show you the simple trick how to verify your answer in exam. Now we have got the binary number as 1101. It is the base 2 number that is the conversion of 29. So we have to verify that this binary number gives 29 value in the decimal number. So what we have to do is we just have to write down the weightage. We have seen in the previous video what is weightage. So always start from the right hand side. The right hand side will have the lowest weightage value. That is 1 will have the lowest weightage value. So how we have got this 1? That is 1 into 2 raised to 0. So the weightage value for this number is 1. Then again for second value. 0 into 2 raised to 1. 1 into 2 raised to 2. 1 into 2 raised to 3 and 1 into 2 raised to 4. So we have write down the weightages. I told you the highest index power of 2 will always be the MSV. That is the leftmost value. So let's do the conversion of binary into decimal to verify the number. So here the 0 weightage value will be cancelled out. So 2 will be cancelled. And the remaining value will be 16, 18, 4 and 1. So we will add 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 1. So this will give us the value 29 in decimal. So this is how you can verify the binary to decimal conversion. Now let's see the one more example of decimal to binary conversion. Let's take an example of 35 decimal number into the binary. In exam, you have to write in this format. So it is very simple and you can avoid the mistake. So let's see this format. In the left column, I have written the remainder values. And in the right column, I have written the quotient and the division that I have done. So let's take an 35. So 35 divided by 2. What it will give? 17. And the remainder will be 1. How? 35 divided by 2, the quotient will be 17. And the 35 minus 34 will give 1. That is our remainder. Similarly, you have to divide the number 35 till we get the quotient value 1. I am always repeating this sentence because this is very important. Because if you don't divide the number till you get the quotient value as 1, then your conversion will be wrong. So always divide the number 
till you get the quotient value as 1. Now let's see the quotient is 17. So 17 divided by 2 will give you 8 and the remainder will be 1. Now 8 divided by 2 will give you 4 and remainder will be 0. Now the quotient value is 4. 4 divided by 2 will be 2 and the quotient value is 2 and the remainder will be 0. Now focus here carefully. Right now we have the quotient as 2. So if we divide 2 by 2 then we will have the quotient as 1 and we have to stop here. So that will be the MSB value. So this is the MSB value of our conversion. So I have told you, you have to write from down to up approach. So let's write down the binary number that we have converted. 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. So this is the final binary number. You can also verify this binary number just by putting the weightage value and adding them. Now let's see how to convert the fractional decimal number into the binary number. This is very easy. Here you have to multiply the number after the decimal point by 2. So let's see the fractional decimal number conversion into the binary. We have taken an example of decimal number 35.625. So we have to multiply this number by 2. So 0.625 into 2 will give you 1.25. Then again 0.25 multiplied by 2 will give you 0.5. And 0.5 multiplied by 2 will give you 1. You have to multiply by this number till you get up to 4 to 5 digits after the decimal point. So here the leftmost digit that is this digit will always give you the binary conversion of the given decimal number. So here the binary conversion form this will be 1, 0 and 1. Now focus very carefully. While doing the conversion of 35 decimal number into the binary number, we used to write the conversion from bottom approach to the top approach. I have shown you, we have just written the binary conversion from bottom to top that is from MSB to LSB. But here you have to approach it from top to bottom that is the this approach. So it is 0.625 will be converted into decimal will give you 101. But here we have not written the final conversion. I will show you the final conversion. The given question was 35.625. In previous example, we just converted the 35 number into the binary number that is 1 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. After that decimal point is here. So we will write here the decimal conversion. But just focus here. Always write down from the top to bottom approach. So we will write from 1, 0, 0. So this is our final binary number of the given decimal number. Always remember. If you have the odd fractional number, go up to the 4 or 5 digit. Up to the 4 or 5 digit, you will get the perfect number of the given decimal number. Thank you for watching today's video. Stay tuned to Ikeda channel to get latest update from electronics.